excited about working with a new feature in AI Builder in Power Apps. It's so amazing. I found it that how much is really working very well and how you can use it actually in a real scenario. I'm going to show you what is that. So if you go into the AI Builder under the build, you will see we have different options for the uh, creating AI applications or creating the smart uh, flow using Power Automate. So as you can see here, I have lots of options. The one that I'm really today I'm surprised that how much is really working very well is text recognition or kind of we call it OCR that able to extract the text from the image. I'm going to use it. So as you see here, it's able to use in Microsoft Power Automate or Flow and also using in the Power Apps to creating the app. I'm going to use the simple one for this video. So I'm click on that. Uh, to use it in the Power Apps, it take a bit time. Uh, maybe ask you about authentication, uh, about your uh, actually your uh, email to log in again, uh, and then it navigate you to the new page. So as you see here, now I have a new component name uh, actually takes recognizer. I think that if you go to the AI Builder one, uh, also you can have it. So it doesn't need to go first to the AI Builder and click on that. Even you are in a, your normal app, you can go to the insert and then AI Builder and you can see the text recognizer. Just make sure it is preview. But I think it's a really good working even it is preview. So let's try it let's try it so i'm going first uh, to uh, to run it so i'm going to uh, add a new image so i have my business card first i'm going to use my business card so you see that the direction is not the very good and you see that how is able to find or not so he's able uh, able to find eight lines of text Recognize. So I couldn't see them here. So I just back to the normal one and I'm going to insert a, uh, actually a label for that. So insert text and then label. And of course it should be text recognizer dot. Uh, so I said selected text for this scenario. So I'm going to run it again and I click on Radicat, you will see Radicat over here. I click on this line, you see the, my Twitter ID. You will be able to, so that's really perfectly works great. So now I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to add a image like this. So it's a kind of the uh, receipt from uh, Costco. So I click on that even, you will see that that's, there is a, actually is not a really a flat paper, but it still is able to detect. That surprised me a lot. So of course I don't expect doing that because the quality here is not really good, but still you will see that how it is good to uh, identify the text in the, uh, actually in the, uh, in the image, which is great actually. Let's try the other one. I'm going to add a picture of the LMP actually from the internet. I just searched it and I'm going to look at that. So what is that? Yep, it's able to identify at least the P. Uh, good limonish stuff. I'm really agree with that. It's my favorite drinks and world famous in New Zealand. So yeah, the LMP is that and you can see that it's able to detect. The picture is not really clear here. Even in the original picture, if I show to you, you will see it's not a clear one. Let me show the picture to you. So I'm going to show the picture, but he's able to find very perfectly. You see that still the quality of picture is not really great. It's, for me, it's hard to read, but he's able to detect. That's fantastic. I really love that. And uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to work with that in other scenarios. So uh, definitely going to use it in flow and creating some scenario based on that. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will uh, definitely post more about these new AI features that we have in Power Apps and other Power Platform. Thanks so much.